What's up? How are you? I'm not well. Let's go and talk about Josh Gordon. Really? Let's go and talk about Lost Joy. Okay, let's, go let's right get now. to it. Let's hurry up. I'm get ready. To it. All right. Let's let go. I want to preface my comments by articulating emphatically the word if. If, if, if Josh Gordon is indeed guilty of testing positive for marijuana, if, if, if indeed this brother could not stay off the weed when he was suspended, if, if, if in the process of being suspended, in the midst of being suspended, this man, knowing he was seeking reinstatement into the National Football League. If he has tested positive yet again, he should be denied reentry, reinstatement into the NFL. I, I would be a proponent of the Cleveland Browns literally suing him for their money back. I, just for stupidity purposes alone. If this man is guilty of this, no empathy, no sympathy, no mercy. I cannot, listen, unless the man is willing to check himself into a clinic for an addiction, because that's the only thing that can explain this alarming level of stupidity. To know that you have been suspended for a year, to be banned from the league for a year, to be on the verge of reinstatement, and to allow yourself to be get tested positive, to be hanging with, if not living with Johnny Manziel in the process, knowing all the stuff that has come down about him, to sit up there and jeopardize $825,000 in base salary last year, $564,000 in a signing bonus. That's last year alone. Plus, you got a million and sixty-eight this year with an additional $564,000 due to come to him this year. If this man was stupid enough to find himself in this position again, he deserves what he get. And me personally, I'm a proponent of the league instituting a policy that calls for automatic suspensions for these dudes that find themselves in it to the point where they're able to get some of their money back for what these guys are stupidly unable to avoid. I want to emphasize, I am not calling out to for all of those folks out there, whether it's for medicinal purposes or proponents of legalizing weed in particular states, if not throughout the United States, I'm not hating on that. That's your business. I'm not talking about anybody that isn't costing themselves money. I'm talking about NFL players who are willing to cost themselves millions of dollars because they can't stop puffing. I can't take it no more. I can't. No mercy. None. Mm. None. Well, first of all, I sincerely doubt that because I don't know of anybody that's happier being broke and high. Than than, I don't than, know. than than you know I've than seen otherwise. It. I mean, that, that, well, listen, I'm saying you see where you see where they can't help themselves, yep. but it's not a preference; it's an addiction. There's a difference. You taught me the definition between those two. That's point number one. Point number two: I don't want to hear a damn word about Josh Gordon being deep. If you high, of course you're gonna get deep. Have you been around people that yeah. smoke weed? They get deep all the time. And if you don't believe me, just watch Martin Lawrence joke about it. Okay, yep. one of the greatest comedians ever. They talk about the weed, how cats get deep. So I don't want to hear that either. I'm not trying to sit up there. No, neither are you. We're not trying to engage in condemnation about Josh Gordon. We're trying to say, wait a minute, what are you doing here? Yep. You're ruining your career. You clearly want to be in the NFL. You clearly want to get paid. So in the offseason, when you're not being tested, you can get high as much as you want and actually be able to afford to do it. But instead, you're jeopardizing everything. And by the way, you got some ignorant folks out there that is going to point to Johnny Manziel. Well, Johnny Manziel's doing with things and Johnny Manziel is, is drinking and Johnny Manziel is doing this, that, and the third. Let me tell you the difference between Johnny Manziel and Josh Gordon. Johnny Manziel comes from oil money. It doesn't excuse his behavior. It doesn't excuse what he's going to do. But chances are, unless he drops dead somewhere, somehow, some way, Johnny Manziel is going to survive. He's going to have a roof over his head. He's going to have food on his plate. He's going to have clothes on his back. He's going to be able to provide for himself or somebody's going to be able to provide for him and beyond because that's the kind of affluence that he comes to. When your behind is broke and impoverished and you strap on your bootstraps and lift yourself up and elevate yourself to this level where you are universally recognized as somebody with Hall of Fame talent and in the end we get to look at you and say, damn, 
He lost it because of weed? Really? Nah, man. No. I'm not. You can sit up there and say and, and couch it any way you want to, Skip, and maybe it is an addiction. Well, then, damn it. Man, mandate that he be checked into a clinic. Mandate that he stay there. Mandate that whatever it takes to get him right, fine. If you want to sit there and say folks are cruel because we're not talking about getting folks the necessary help, well, then I apologize. Let me step back and acknowledge, hey, let's get these people some help whoever they may be. Okay. Let's stop this to the best of our ability. But we can't sit up here and be sympathetic to the point where we're like, well, we should just understand your inability to follow rules and regulations that govern a league you arbitrarily selected to play in. We can't do that. Well, first of all, in the interest of just a good time of comedy, could you please tell me when Just When Baby has applied to Jerry Jones in recent <laughs> yeah. memory? I don't recall. What? 17 years, two playoff victories. Yeah. Just When Baby, please. He, he uh, did okay through a, the 90s. Well, I understand right? that. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. My, my hairline was about six mm -hmm. inches forward. Mm -hmm. But the point is this. <laughs> in the end, what it comes down to is that that hasn't been applicable to Jerry Jones. That's point number one. Here's what I love. I love the fact that it's at pick number 60. I love the fact that Randy Gregory dropped so precipitously. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that it's obvious as to why he did it. Because he couldn't stay off the weed. <laughs> and that's what happened. It cost you millions. Good for you. I'm glad it happened. Okay? Now that we got that out the way. He did get drafted listen, by the Dallas Cowboys. I understand so what I'm he, saying. He probably thinks he made out on so, this, no, no, right? No, no, no. What I'm saying is he could potentially made out. Yeah. I don't want the brother to be broke. I want him to be successful. I want him to make his money. But I want him to do it the right way. I don't want him getting himself suspended. I don't want him getting himself in trouble. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I love the fact that he's here on the Cowboys is because America's mm -hmm. team is under such a microscope that if he messes up, Everyone's going to know. Mm. Everyone's going to know. So really, if this dude, think about this, Skip, you go and you mess up at the NFL scouting combine. Yep. If you now, having seen it cost you millions of dollars, all right, because this guy goes up, projected top 10 pick, and arguably the best defensive talent in the draft, and you got picked at number 60, cost them millions, of course. millions of dollars. If now that you go to the Dallas Cowboys and you mess up here, everyone will know one or two things. You are either a significant mm -hmm. addict who needs help, Maybe. or you have to be the stupidest young man coming mm -hmm. out of college. Either way, we're going to find out because you remember uh, the Dallas mm -hmm. Cowboys. Everyone will be watching, and I hope that forces this brother to act the way he's supposed to act. And he doesn't find himself getting into trouble. Talk about a deterrent. You're under a microscope now, baby. Right. You ain't playing in Jacksonville or someplace. You're playing for the Dallas Cowboys. He, If he messes up in Big D, trust me, everyone will know. Mm. Everyone will know. I sure hope you were right about this. That's right. Because so I, I like not it. have a great feeling about I think this it's one. low risk, high reward. Get rid of him if he, doesn't, if he messes up. Mm -hmm. Get rid of him. <sighs> it still doesn't negate or dissipate my disgust. You know where I'm going, Skip. I know exactly where Another going. brother yep. who yep. cannot stay mm -hmm. off the weed. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe that these guys are such flaming idiots. And I'm going to say something that's going to make folks upset, but I don't care. If you sat up there and you took a mugshot of every one of these dudes who got in trouble, Black, 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 all over the place. Brothers in weed. That's what we're seeing. Now, me, myself, I'm not going to advocate it. Obviously, I'm opposed to it. But I have nothing to say about it to catch who don't get in trouble, who don't lose their money from it. I mean, if it's if you're living in a state where it's legal, it's not compromising your quality of life or anyway. It's your business. But if you are a professional athlete, especially an NFL player, there is ample evidence that you are going to go down. And you do it anyway? I'm done. The sympathy, the forget all that. The, the brother suspended. If, I, if I'm Mike Tomlin, I'm looking for a replacement. I'm serious. I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, you can't discipline yourself to stay off that stuff, 
It's unbelievable. Can I can, can I see a couple of white a white guys that get busted for some weed? I haven't seen it. Have you? Show him. I, 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 take your time. I'll wait. Who? Who? I mean, if, if, if the league is seventy percent black, then it's thirty percent white. Wait, wait, where's the white guys getting busted 25%. with the weed? I haven't seen them. Well, I have A matter of fact, I won't mention the name, but a particular star played in a particular city. Okay, and, and 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 you know what, and and was and, and had a franchise, you know, with the pizzas and all of that stuff, and and you know what they say. I mean, there, there's a lot of cats out there that joke when when you know when you puffing. One of the thing, one of the first things you want to do after is eat some pizza. Yeah. So somebody's somebody, you know, we're sitting up in there and jeopardizing our careers. I shouldn't say we, cause I damn it, I don't do it. I, I, I take that, but ain't we? Those dudes who do it. Okay, they're jeopardizing their careers, and the very people that you say, well, is it fair? Thirty percent of them ain't getting. They're not the ones getting busted with it. And by the way, you got a couple of dudes that have learned how to capitalize on it and turn it into a business venture. Yeah. So you know, we losing money. Those cats are losing money, and the other cats are figuring out a way how to capitalize off of it and make money for themselves. I mean, come on. Come on. I, I, uh, unbelievable. I, I unbelievable. <laughs> what does it say about Dallas? Yeah. How can I count the ways? I mean, look. Hey, let me... Hey, just calm down. It, just calm down. It, it, just be like, objective it, it, about listen, it. Listen, listen, objective? Yeah. I don't, you objective. know what? The beauty of it the Dallas... Be the, the beauty of the Dallas Cowboys is that Objectivity is totally unnecessary. Mm. It's not necessary in this well, particular it's instance. Not in your instance. Skip, yeah. I miss talking Skip. About let the me tell you something right now. Yeah. We don't. We don't know. We you know, suspended the four games. We don't know specifically what the reason is. But America, say it with me. Stay off the weed. Oh, I thought that Once was again, be to this is what it. Let me tell you something right I now. I never heard you say that. Before. Let me tell you something right now. That's this is about Randy me. Gregory. Where did hey, you come hey, up listen, with that? I'm, I'm just trying to be here for the brother. Yeah. I'm just trying to be here. What do I continue to say? Mm. I tried to tell you all the time, Skip Bayless. They're an accident waiting to happen. Whatever can go wrong will. What day was the Super Bowl? What? It's February 7th. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. What's today's date? Is Isn't it, it the 22nd? 22nd? Yeah. That's 15 days after the season's over, and already the Dallas Cowboys are in the news yet again for something that has nothing to do with winning football games, but everything to do with sullying their reputation, mm. losing football games, being the accident waiting to happen, being a, just an epitome of mediocrity mm -hmm. every single time. Yep. We try to sit up here and give the Dallas Cowboys a break. Mm -hmm. We got caught up. It's, I remember I was talking. Was, I was at Radio Row, mm -hmm. Super Bowl week, San Francisco, California, all of this mm -hmm. other stuff. Emmett Smith comes there. Michael Irvin comes in the playmaker. Stephen A, we'll be back, Stephen A. Yeah, Michael, Michael Irvin with his oh, thick oh. goggles, spiano glasses. We'll be back, Stephen A. Emmett Smith, what are you talking about? I mean, I, I, I think, you know, listen, we were 12 four last year. There's always something, you okay? There's always something. But in the end, I keep trying to tell them, Emmett Smith ain't there anymore. As Rick mm -hmm. Pitino said, he ain't coming through that door. Michael Irvin ain't coming through that door. Troy Aikman ain't coming through that door. Yep. You know what? Great party, Mike. <laughs> Randy Gregory will. <laughs> I mean, the list goes on and on. The Dallas Cowboys once again making news for all the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, who, who's going to get suspended next, Skip? I guarantee you. Joseph Randall's off hey, the team, so that's good. Oh, just, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Joseph Randall didn't get arrested again. Where did he get arrested again? What was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't get on. Uh -huh. Stay here. I'm calling Stay here. Don't get on her. Don't get on her. You don't get on her. No, 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 don't get on her. Red, just the rest. I help. forgot about him. This is this fifth two on one? The fifth arrest in 17 months. Five. Five arrests in 17 months. I mean, yeah. my lord. I mean, listen, listen. I listen. want to see your team win. You can't make this stuff up. Mm. I keep trying to tell you, Skip. So once again, I'm going to just end it by saying this. I keep telling you, mm -hmm. at some point in time, mm -hmm. you're going to get it. Yep. It's going to knock you upside that thick skull of yours. Mm -hmm. They're an accident waiting to happen. Yep. They're mediocre. Mm -hmm. They will find a way to get in their own way. But there is a silver lining. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Jerry Jones got his headline. 
Mm. Oh, we so happy. Jerry Jones, did you pull it off? How's it feel, Jerry Jones? You're in the headline again for the Dallas Cowboys because any publicity is good publicity. It keeps America's team mm -hmm. in the spotlight. Way to go, Jerry. Mm. Way to go. Oh, by the way, are they getting Johnny Manziel? I'm not sure. I'm mm. just not sure. I was down at Texas oh, A&M the other day. No. I mean, they didn't talk about it. You no. understand? They didn't talk about it. They yeah. said my Johnny Manziel was down there. Mike Evans' wedding. Congratulations to him. The whole step. Yeah. You know, all of that stuff. Who knows? Johnny Manziel can end up a Dallas Cowboy. Yeah. Who knows, Skip? Mm -hmm. Anything to get headlines. The headline champions of the world, mm. the Dallas Cowboys. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to remind you. If